For years, dedicated reptile and amphibian keepers have tried to replicate the natural habitat of their pets, but this has largely been done sight unseen. Until now. Thanks to Zilla, I'm taking you to where they come from. Sharing the fascinating biomes of the ancestors of our captive bred reptiles and amphibians, and taking field measurements, which will help us improve the quality of their care. So join me in the first ever Herp Care Adventure Series, shot in cinema quality 8K by veteran wildlife filmmakers and hosted by me, Mike Clarkson. Let's go beyond the glass. This is an incredibly rare find. One of the coolest looking creatures I have ever seen. Oh shoot, okay, eyes, 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 eyes. So this is the job on spitting cobra. What's interesting about this habitat is it's genuine rainforest, but it's also almost like a peat bog. If I was trying to build a paludarium for a blood python where you had an aquatic and a land area, i definitely go with some tannins in the water because you can see that red, pretty water. Water monitor, check it out. They're such an incredible predator for a lizard. This is the Malaysian blue coral snake. Every now and then nature surprises you, and it really surprised me now. <laughs> right here, rat snake. Look at this guy. He is just like, I do not have the time or the patience for you. So this is an actually wild Burmese python. In Indonesia, they're protected. That's why I'm not picking it up. That's why I'm not handling it because I'm not allowed to, and I'm okay with that. I've never herped graveyard. We're gonna give it a go, being very respectful to both the geckos and the dead. He's kind of got a built-in thermal gradient here, so you might want some mild gradient. This isn't a really heat-loving species. They're pretty thin too, so I can imagine you could accidentally overheat them pretty easy. So let's get him down for these people and uh, yeah. take him back where he belongs. Oh, there we go. Cool. Let's get him outside. Just what I thought, a sunbeam snake. In Cambodia, they call them gasolina, from the word gasoline, because if you've ever seen gasoline on the ground, it's got that shimmery iridescence of light. They're incredible animals. They are rear fangs, so this is not for amateur keepers. So cool. After two islands, boat rides, falling down wells, it's finally paid off. And this actually does pay off. 